Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be flipping through my 2020 memory planner that I have done in the Hobonochi Cousin. Um, so if you want to see that, keep on watching. Okay, so I've taken my Hobonichi Cousin out of my folio. Um, and this is what it looks like. So I have the full year version, not the AVEC. Avec one has it like uh, two books, one year and two books in a sense, but this is my full year. I like it all in one book to store and that kind of stuff. And it's, you know, she's a little chunky, but not as chunky as I've seen others because I don't like watercolor or do any of that kind of stuff in here. So I feel like that makes it a little less chunky. Um, and I have, it's mostly stickers that are making it uh, chunky, stickers and pictures, I would say. So, um, let's see, I didn't really do anything to the front. I know a lot of people do washi boards and things like that. Um, at the year, oh, I did, I did start to track my cycle here, but obviously I didn't get far with that. And, um, this is my calendex that I use. It's like the yearly views that I used as like an index. And if you want more information about that, you can uh, check out my other video. I'll link it up here for you to see on how I do that. It's color coded depending on uh, what it is that day I wrote about. So if it's journaling or if it's like a tracker or that kind of stuff. And that's the next year. And it goes right into monthlies. And these dividers, um, I have three here that says monthly, weekly, and daily to kind of divide the different sections of the Hobonichi. Uh, and I got these from Type A for Alexa. So she does these really nice quality, um, and they're side loading. So I don't know if you can tell it's clear, but you load it you know, from the side this way uh, for the tabs. And so this is, I forgot what, I know the color is oil slick, I want to say, but I want to say it's the galaxy one, but don't quote me on that, but definitely check out her shop. I'll uh, link it in the info box below. She has her own um, website um, and go right into the monthlies. So in the past, I loved monthlies and I only planned in the monthlies, um, but I realize I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm going more into this, you know, planning rabbit hole <laughs> that I'm going into, that I was starting to go into like weeklies and dailies and that kind of stuff. But before when I was a more simple planner, I only memory kept in the monthlies because I felt like my life uh, wasn't as busy or wasn't, you know, didn't need a weekly <laughs> and it still doesn't, but I, now I just want to use more stickers and stuff so you know what are you gonna do uh so this monthly is from i want to say sadie stickers i want to say this kit was her uh like a b6 monthly kit but then i just kind of cut things and did my sticker surgery to make it fit into my a5 hobonichi and i just love how it came out um, so for the monthly, there's no really rhyme or reason. I just put in kind of like the big events of the year that I wanted to remember, like, you know, visiting Santa on this day, that kind of stuff. So it's not really like a daily highlights type of thing. It's just, you know, whatever I feel like. <laughs> um, and then this is my January. And for this one, I used, um, who is she? My newest addiction. And she is, you know, by far my most favorite uh, monthly planner or no monthly, like monthly sticker person. <laughs> I don't know what to say. She does like the cutest monthly kits. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and it's very just simple floral. And she has, um, what is this? Jasenia's handwriting here and this lovely foil. I, I adore her handwriting. If I haven't said it enough, I adore it. <laughs> So um, I always get her monthly kits. So I'm really sad this year that I can't get, because um, she's kind of limited her, uh, her selection for the sizes for the monthly kits, which is understandable. Uh, so I think she only has the Erin Condren or the recollection size, like the A5 wide size and uh, B6. 
and so it doesn't have like an A6 size. So a part of me wants to get her B6 and uh, just kind of do my sticker surgery and see if I can make it fit into my A6. So I might do that. And if I do that, I'll do a video about it. But um, because I really do love, love it. Um, yeah. And then I kind of quit doing my monthlies <laughs> because I got too wrapped up in doing my weeklies and things like dailies and all that stuff. So this is my start of my weekly section. So first year, I mean, homegirl was on point, <laughs> right? I had my habits section, I did my little lettering and this, you know, whole happy new year thing and stuff. And you'll see as I go on, you know, I got more lazier and I didn't really do as much. But yeah, I like to do use a lot of character stickers. So some of my favorites here is uh, Coffee Monsters Co. That's from her as well. Um, I think this is a Whimsical Cat Studio, and I like hers too. Once More With Love, Paper and Milk, um, Happy Day. Uh, those are my usually my staples. But yeah, this is kind of how I did my weeklies. I like to just kind of set the mood with the washi here to kind of give the color a theme or the you know week a theme. And then I started putting pictures, and I think I always put pictures in my... Um, monthly or not my monthly my memory planners because i i think the pictures are the best they i want to keep this for years and years and hopefully you know my daughter will see it you know when she gets older and she'll be able to see uh, part of me is like oh are these pictures gonna fade or will the you know adhesive glue uh come off and <laughs> it'll be just a big mess with just pictures everywhere i'm not sure we'll see <laughs> but and that's what I really love about this and just collecting moments, you know? And then some weeks, obviously, you know, life and I didn't really do much. Ooh, Tiger King. Do you guys remember that? Did anyone else see it too? I was obsessed with this. Me and my husband, we were both obsessed with it. I think that was the, I want to say that was the documentary of 2020. <laughs> Oh, this wash is from uh, Simply Gilded, Jasper the Bear. Love it, so cute. Um, but yeah, everything was just so cute. I know I say that a lot, <laughs> but it is. Come on, and you could tell me, and you could tell that some weeks that I, you know, wrote more. Um, and I did more like journaling, I guess. And I did it more, I guess, on the weeks than I did, you know, during my dailies. If I wrote more here, then you'll see that my dailies are not as much. Ooh, Dashing Diva. This, I want to say, is my number one find of 2020 during this whole quarantine time period. They are uh, these nail sticker company. And I first found them in uh, Target. Yeah. Uh, during the whole quarantine time at the beginning, you know, wanted something to do. So I got into these and they were like so good. This is one of their uh, winter ones that I have on currently, but um, they stay on forever. I mean, on the thing it says, you know, two weeks that you could keep it on and they're like supposed to be gel. <clears throat> and I can keep them on for, I could probably go a month, but I would say three weeks is like a good time frame. But yeah, they don't come off. And at first I thought, oh, their stickers are gonna start, you know, peeling at the, you know, at the tips if I, you know, go like scratch something or something like that. And there is definitely like a learning curve to trying to apply them, but no, mm -mm, by far. If you guys have not checked this out during the quarantine and you guys are dying to get your nails done, check this out. They have, um, I think they're sold at Target, Walmart. Um, they have their own website where I get a lot of the nails. I think it's like a dollar more expensive if you do it on the website, but you get more choices for like variety reasons, like the different colors and things like that. And the shipping is free like after $15. So you just have to buy like two packs and then, and no, I don't get any money from them or anything like that, but I just really love them, love them. And I know a lot of people were into uh, Color Street, but Color Street was a little bit hard for me because I have like small little nail beds 
<laughs> it's like I have fat fingers and small nail beds. That's what everyone says. So those were a little bit like wider for me. So it was a harder for me to fit on my nails, but these one I felt were better. It was um, smaller and there's a lot of choices and it comes with like accent colors. So for instance, like this right here, I know I'm going on a tangent, sorry guys, but um, this was the main uh, design or, you know, color, whatever you want to say of the pictures, it was this one. And so this one here and this like pinky mauve one and this one here with the little diamond were the accent colors. So it comes with your um, regular color, whatever you choose. And then within that same pack, you get four strips of these accent colors. So you can just kind of mix them up and I love it. Anyways, going back to my planner. I really do, looking back at these now, I'm just, oh yeah, I remember this time. Oh, this was one of my favorite photos that my husband took on the iPhone and it was perfect. I really do think the pictures make a difference. And so I print my pictures. Um, oh, I love, I love this, like my art. <laughs> I say that very loosely, art. Um, but doing these little designs make it so much more cuter. I think I need to do that more in 2021. And look at this too, right? And this can, I can tell like straight off, I remember this week because we swam like every single day this week because it was super hot where we live. And that's the only way we can survive. <laughs> but, and I try to do a little Baymax there, even though it's not the best, but I think it gives a little bit of a, um, a better vibe to my spread. So maybe I'm gonna try doing more doodling, that kind of stuff. So we'll see. Um, but what was I saying? I guess I track. What was I saying before this business? Oh, the photos where I print my photos. So how I do my photos is, um, I use an app. Uh, I use an app to make a collage of the photos that I like to print. And then those, I would send them to, I use Costco, but you can use any other, um, place like uh, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart. I think all of them have like photo centers so you're able to print them. Oh no, what's this? Oh, it just got. Uh, so I just print them there and then I cut them and then I'll just tape them into my planner. So I kind of use like uh, these type of ad adhesive glue guns to do it on the back and then I'll tape it here. And then these, you know, obviously these washies are just kind of for accent, but only thing is I don't glue it, you know, so if you can tell it kind of comes up so that, but it doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, then, you know, you would have to use the glue runner more in the back. But yeah, and that's how I print them and I save it. So obviously I don't do it every week or, you know, every day. Uh, I would have to kind of save my pictures until I have a good bunch and then I'll go print them all out. And then one day I'll just, one day or, you know, two days, whatever it takes me to I'll cut them all out and I'll memory plan. This is October already. Wow. Ooh, and this sticky vellum. I put this in here. This is another one from simply gilded box that i love it was so pretty and i and yeah i, I like the the cutout that it being round and i love the gold foiling on it it was cute so i save those types of things too if something really strikes my heart then i'll put them in here I mean, you'll see that like a lot of my um, memory stuff are kind of on this right side because that's where the weekend is and that's where most of the stuff happen. Because during the week, you know, we're just working or I'm just working, so there's not much. I tried a different layout this week. And hot cocoa bombs. I made these the first time this year because they were all the craze. 
and they were super good. I will definitely make them next year. And that's it, I think, for my... And I didn't do... There's a page here that goes into the dailies. I didn't do anything here this year. <clears throat> and then this is going into my dailies. So I started out trying to do... Like, I was going to do every month. There's like this month um, and a blank page before your daily dailies start. And I was, you know, going to start doing like pictures of like highlights of the month. And I tried it and then I never really did it. <laughs> So that fizzled out real quick. Um, and I did like tracking my mood tracker. I really like this. So I did it this year as well. But yeah. <laughs> this cracks me up. I don't know if you guys ever do like the Snapchat, um, the age stuff. <laughs> this is of my like three-year-old daughter. It was just so cute. Uh, and work hours and vacation. And I did like swatching too here. But yeah, not every day is something to, um, you know, write about or anything like that. And so, oh, remember this day? I mean, I vividly remember this day because my um, husband is a very big Kobe Bryant fan. And we learned about his death while we were um, having ramen. <laughs> we were eating out because this was, you know, still January. And I remember we, us being in shock. Oh, and I wrote a whole thing about the coronavirus. Look at that. I don't even remember that. But this is like in January, at the end of January. So it was still very early at this point when people were still going crazy. Oh, and this is my, um, the illness tracker that I was talking about before in my previous video about my daughter. Obviously, she wasn't very sick last year. So and this kind of, like I said, it gives me just a quick glance about, oh, like she did really good this past year. You know, she wasn't very sick. And so that was good. And then all these pages are blank. And some people I know have like a a bad time or, or like they don't like having all these empty pages they feel like they have to and that's why they don't like you know daily planners and things but i don't know it doesn't bother me too much <laughs> oh this was a good weekend we had gone to mammoth and this was before all the lockdowns this was like probably one of our last family trips and I like to put recipes too, and so that, and I would reference that too. And sometimes I feel like I wanna, um, this kind of reminds me, I need to put this recipe in my new planner so that I have it too. So that's kind of one thing that, um, that I don't like, because I know some people have, you know, separate recipe planners, but I'm not a big cook, so I don't really cook that much. So I don't really have a lot of recipes, but then I, I do find it a little annoying that, you know, I have to, you know, re, redo this in my new planner, you know, so maybe I will get a recipe book. Hmm. Well, if you guys know any, let me know. <laughs> ah, I was obsessed with um, To All the Boys I've Ever Loved. I don't know if you guys ever seen this or read the book or whatnot, but... Like, if you have it, please do. <laughs> I'm Team Peter all the way. Just saying. Just saying. Um, yeah. Oh, we tried. We did a trial run having a dog. Because <laughs> I'm so, like, anti having a dog. Because I'm like, I, it's too much. Oh, this was a good weekend. And here I go, I tried doodling a little bit and I kind of like it, you know? I should definitely keep practicing, just like my hand lettering, I need to keep practicing. In a lot of days, there's really not much that, you know, we do. Oh, the whole quarantine with like toilet paper. <laughs> Ugh, tantrums. <laughs> yeah, 
one. It's not really much. It's just, oh, first haircut we tried. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, if you guys cannot see this, you need <laughs> This was the first time we tried doing haircuts and this is my poor dad in a garbage bag. <laughs> Cause we didn't have, you know, like the, what is it called? Those, you know, the capes and things yet at this point and we were just trying to figure it out. <laughs> so that's what we did, you know, what you gotta do. There you go. Ooh, that's cute. I did good, huh? <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I think I did good. <laughs> I feel like a lot of this is just kind of everyday, everyday stuff that you wouldn't really remember if you didn't write it down. So I'm really happy that I did. And then this I put in here because it was um, kind of like my first like Mother's Day card, I guess, from my daughter uh, with the help of her cousin, of course, but I thought it was cute. So I wanted to keep it in there for years to come. Oh man, I was obsessed with finding the um, Starbucks cups when they first came out. Obsessed. And do I use them now? Nope. <laughs> They're just collecting dust. <laughs> Things are definitely go in waves, you know? Oops. See, I, I really do like all the added doodling. I think it looks better like that, so. Ooh, and then, you know, this year, I think a lot of people have been baking and things like that. I've never baked bread. I didn't really hop onto that bandwagon, but um, I did, you know, make some macaroons or macarons, whatever you want to call them. And they were yum, so I think I did a good job. Mm -hmm. Another recipe that I need to do. Right. They're all soups, huh? And these are just little drawings that my daughter, not drawings, coloring, coloring that my daughter did. Obviously, I don't think she did this one because it's way too nice. I think my niece probably did that one, but I'm sure this was her. So I just wanted to save it. So I just kind of taped it in here with some washi. school. I love it. Oh, tried making um, Japanese cheesecake and it was a big flop. October, we're trying to get back on my weight loss. So it does have like um, on the home, there is like a little daily 
timetable type thing here for every single hour. Uh, so some people do use them as like daily planning type of thing. I never did, but you know, certain days I would like to kind of chronicle what I did that day. But then it's it was just too, I felt like I was double charting in a sense because you know, the weeklies are the same. So yeah, I don't know. I didn't like that. So I just kind of used it as memory. Pictures, doodling. Ah, Yosemite. And when I got new washi, I just swatched them here as well. And this was like our first family like studio photo. So that was cute. As you can tell, it's just a lot of pictures of my daughter. <laughs> More swatching. Oh, and Christmas. And this was just recently too. I think that is it. Yeah, yeah. So that was my uh, 2020 memory planner. Um, if you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.